on writers, I think, is Mr. Richard, Richard Schindel. I really love the way he writes his songs. He's a, a songwriter from America. This guy's about 55. He's got, he's got a yeah. voice very similar, like a low Michael Stipe vibe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm into all sorts, really. You know, I'm listening to Bella Fleck in the car at the moment, who's you know, your, your, your guru banjo player, you know, um, with Stuart Duncan, people like that. What else was I listening to? John Butler, I was listening to a bit of that again because I really, I really like what he does. Did you, um, love his, love his. I mean, his, his drama is amazing, ridiculous. And then you know, your Gabriels. I take a lot of that on board, production-wise. People like Peter Gabriel and Kate Bush are just incredible. You know. Well, I was signed before as well to Warner Brothers. Right, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. With Rob Dickens and all that sort yeah. of stuff. So I, I, was, I was well aware of what was going on and, you know, worked with Jeff Travis with Rough Trade as well with Cara Dillon. Yeah. So I've spent time with labels. Yes. So I understand what they are, you know, and, yes. and they're a vehicle, you know, yes. I understand that. Yes. But in terms of an artistic yes. venture, you know, don't know how much, you know, they can actually help you musically. Marketing, absolutely, you know, and, 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 you know, so many doors open for you, absolutely, I completely understand that. But, you know, I've got quite a reality of what music is and, and what you need to do to get there and, and, and how many great artists are out there who, you know, who are literally sti sticking by their guns and just doing what they're doing because they enjoy it and, you know, other people understand that, I think, you know. I think longevity is, you know, you achieve that, really, from sticking by your guns. That's, pro that's kind of what I'm thinking at the moment. And that's what Poor Man's Heaven is really trying to almost say in a way. The reality of what music is. Yeah. I think a lot of people in the music industry can get really, their judgment can get clouded on what actually, you know, music is, which is performance, you know, which is entertainment, you know, which is what you listen to. Yeah. But I think, you know, the... The true art is when you see it live. And if someone can actually do that, can move you or can tell a story or communication, that whole thing. And that is that is what music is. You know? whether, whether you're whether you're Bruce Springsteen with a massive E Street band going nuts, or whether you're, you know, a, playing a, a, a fiddle tune, you know, in the corner of a room, you know, and, and, and you're just playing a slow air to someone, you know. I think it's the same thing. It's just yes. how, and, and I think that's. Important to remember. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I yeah, think yeah. A lot of people can get yeah. confused a bit. It's quite weird, isn't it? I mean, really, it is quite a weird process, yeah. Yeah. Standing there pretending to sing a song 50 times throughout a day, and um, it's quite a weird, weird process. But you know, I guess it's you know it's part of that vehicle, isn't it? Trying to trying to get the music out to more people. As long as long as it's done. Tastefully, I <laughs> think that's important, isn't it? Yeah, it's pretty in your face. Yeah. I mean, that's what we're trying to do, or that's, you know, I'm certainly trying to achieve that. Sometimes the guys say to me, maybe we should slow down a bit. <laughs> no, no, guys, it's, it's time like, to slow down. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're, we're later on for that. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that later on. But I think it's, it's, it's all about. Because we're doing these stood up venues and because we're playing, you know, <clears throat> the next night Cooler Shaker are playing or, you know, whoever, whoever, the Kooks or something like that, we play these sort of venues, the academies obviously, where you've got to be kind of wham bam, you can't leave too much space between songs. And because we're playing acoustic instruments, you know, we're, we're, there's quite a statement we're making there. But the energy is really important to that. So, you know, we're, we're trying to, it's almost like a race. Yes. You know what I mean? Or a chase. You know? yeah, There's something yeah. like that going on, yeah. you know, and that's what I feel I feel like when we're doing it. Yeah.